Hello, welcome to class. Today, we are going to be looking at function in Minecraft. In this class, you will understand how function can be very helpful in programming. And I know that today's class will be fun. Do you remember what function is in our previous class? Function is a piece of code that we can easily call over and over again. Function are chunks of code that can be placed into a single program that we can easily call over and over again. In programming, function is very helpful and important while coding. And in this class, we will look at some blocks for function. There are two blocks that are used for function. The block that is to the left is called the function declaration block. And this block helps us to name and use to fill in the function. While the block to the right is the function call block. And the block helps to make the function code run. So we have the function declaration block and the function call block. Now for us to be able to allow our function to work, we need to first of all define the function. Now after defining the function, the next thing we should do is to call the function. So let's look at some overview of today's class. There are two steps to using functions in JavaScript. First, we need to define our function, and then we need to call it. When you define a new function, you're simply giving a name to a defined set of actions you want the computer to perform. To call a function, you just type the name of the function, followed by parentheses. This is telling the computer to perform, or execute, the set of actions you gave a name to. You've already been calling functions when you use commands that end with parentheses. The only difference is someone else to find them for you. To complete the Hour of Code challenge, you'll need to write code to program the agent. You'll work together with the agent to clear any obstacles in your path so you can pick up the items you'll need for your journey. Only the agent can place and break blocks, and only you can collect items. Your screen is split into three main parts. On the left is Minecraft. The middle area is the toolbox with commands that the agent can understand. And on the right is the workspace. That's where you stack the commands to build your program to control the agent. The agent can walk, turn, and activate pressure plates. It can also destroy blocks and place blocks. When it places a block like these minecart rails, it places it underneath itself. If you forget what to do, the instructions for each level are at the top. If you want to try again, you can hit the blue reset button to reset everything to where it started. And if you need to delete a block of code, drag it from your workspace to the toolbox. Remember to hit run to get the agent moving. Okay, go ahead and try out the first few levels. Good luck.